So, first day on a planet. Wow. How was it? Terrifying. <laughs> Exhausting. Glorious. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. What the fuck? What's happened? Oh! Shit. Please let this just be a panic attack. Oh, thank God. You ain't taken to the gravity drugs as well as we'd hoped. Oh, no. You said it would take time. I mean, your bones are getting denser, you're building muscle tissue, but it's your cardiovascular system. It just ain't developing quickly enough. I guess my body's a slow learner. No, Naomi, your heart just ain't as strong as it needs to be in this gravity. Plain and simple, you gotta slow down, take things easier. If you don't, you're gonna have palpitations, and eventually your heart, it's... I'll get through it. Naomi, don't say anything no. to Holden. <laughs> He'll overreact. He's got enough on his mind already. Please. Right. He's gonna go ape shit if something anything happens to her. Marco Inaros. No. How well do you know him? Only by reputation. Naomi said you knew what he did to her. <sighs> She's one of the smartest people I've ever met. How did Marco Inaros get his hooks in? Oh, oh he's charismatic. He's, he's uh, uncompromising. He's uh, very dangerous. Men like that to cast a spell. They also make a lot of enemies. That's our baby, Daddy, isn't it? Talk to Dawes. I'll reach out to Fred Johnson. It'll take a big bounty to bring this one in. Oh, shit. Is he gonna be the mega body this season? Please. Oh, my God. You were Pause, because I want to focus and I won't be able to if I've got this sort of my head. Um, so Marco Inaros is the, it seems to be the, basically the guy that Naomi was with, who she had the child with, who then nicked the kid. So he's a super charismatic OPA leader. I never, the thing is, I feel like with Ashford, they've dub, they've bluffed and double bluffed me so much with him now that it's very successful because my heart says Ashford is going to be in on that. But my head's like, you said that last season and just stop it. But narratively, it would be really good cover for him to have us originally distrust him. And then you see him humbled and come round to him and then have him betray us after it all. So that's just the truth of it. Whether I'm right or wrong, I'm not trusting Ashford at the moment. I'm really excited to meet this Marco in Aros. I love Drummer is going to be pissed because not only is he scum of the earth, fucking with her plans right now but he managed to have Naomi fall in love with him which is something obviously that Kamina was unable to do so she's double pissed and you just wonder what that guy's reaching capability is and to what degree he's influencing events you know beyond just these ships that have been shot down. So this is this is gonna be interesting. I'm really excited and uh, now we get to see my girls play. Okay. Did Admiral Zelda really say any of that? I don't know. We rarely spoke. He didn't much care for You were me. using me tonight. Just like you used him. Oh. Playing some game that I don't understand. It was humiliating. I wasn't trying oh. to embarrass you. I wanted to see I had you. no place at the table. You show the rest of the idiots in that room that you still have friends in high places. All they saw was Earth calling its lapdog to heal.
come and work for me. Yeah! Oh, fuck these people. If they don't see how glorious you are, they don't deserve you. I don't need you to save me. You don't owe me this. Bobby. No favor. Good night, ma'am. Bobby! Bobby, fuck these people. So what do we got here? That's yours. Ooh. We need to talk. Hello. You were on the right track, kid, but we gotta go. Just tell me why. Because I need your hands, okay? I still don't have those, but we're running out of time. Tick tock, tick tock, that door won't stay open forever. Okay, stop. Where are we going? To the, to the shark fin. Those openings were definitely not there before. So the answer to the question of who killed the protomolecule builders is in there. All right, I'm going with you. We're all going. Actually, no. uh, I'd feel a hell of a lot better if uh, someone stayed at the Rossi, watched our asses in case we need backup. You okay with that? Yeah. Good. Where the hell are you? I'm in town. I'm keeping an eye on things, like Holden said. All right, well, Holden and I are going on this Later. mission. Later. Wow, Amos is pissed. Ooh, hello. That was mine. What else you got? She did. Oh, yes, she did. No, she did. Yes, she did. No, she did. Yes, she did, Peter. I just saw it. All right, take it easy. Where are you going? Meet some friends. It's light. What's going on? What the fuck? What the hell are you up to? Okay, look, you have to go. Please, I'll, I'll explain later. What is this shit? It's just focus drugs. Okay, please, if they see you here, they'll kill me. I'll kill you myself. You're coming home with me. No, right I can't. They'll be here any minute. What now? I can't. I can't. You are such oh, an idiot. It'll just take a minute to... No, we're leaving. Whatever he was doing for you, it's over. David, baby, your aunt is becoming a problem. Look, I had no idea she was coming, I swear. Oh, fuck this. Get her, Bobby! Yeah! Oh, shit! She is not fucking a bite. Alright, enough. Oh. You're so fucked. Really? <laughs> David's out. For good. And next time he won't be here next time. Get up! David, go with your auntie. That was beautiful. That was truly beautiful. She kicked that smug little girl's ass. <laughs> David, your aunt is becoming a problem. Smack. <laughs> We're in. Miller. Back on series. Fuck. You get this water theft. Mm. It's always a big problem. I need that out of there. Okay? Gonna oh. pull us. Dragging me out into the middle of the night to do your fucking gardening. Hey, we're all doing someone else's dirty work, kid. I'm just flipping switches, you know, seeing what lights come on, and right now that's a switch I can't flip. This is so good. It's the simplicity that I like. These people built stuff that lasts for billions of years and it can't handle a few roots. There weren't any roots here when they built yeah. this stuff. Jim, I don't know what that ghost is telling you, but the last time you stuck your hand in something for Miller, it put you in a coma. <laughs> All right, no coma this time, kid. I promise. But we both need to figure out who killed the builders. Years. The builders. I'd settle for just not having your voice in my head. One voice in his head. 100,000 people died on Eros. Try carrying that around in your skull. Wow. Old woman humming her wedding song. Little kid having a nightmare. People screaming for a death that never comes. Oh my God. 
sorry. We finish this thing. Maybe we can all finally get some sleep, huh? Here come the fucking Innes who take it all away again. Like you always do. Mm -hmm. Only history on me, I didn't blow up shit on Ganymede. You and me, we have one problem today. Somebody in the shithole killed 23 of my friends. Yeah, for Earth. They ain't over yet. Now that was a threat. Oh, shit! Fuck! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! No! No! Oh, wow! Something's happening. We can- it didn't even see that, Naomi! That was another really good episode as far as I'm concerned. It gave me kind of season one and two vibes more than season three vibes this episode and I'm absolutely fine with that. I like I like riddles. I like trying to put the pieces together and that that's where we are now. And we're, you know, we're just trying to work out who's been authentic about what and where are people's interests kind of lying because it's not it's not clear in all cases. I think I might start with Avasarala actually. So Avasarala has got some difficulties back home now because she's got her home secretary who we saw her arguing with, Nancy, it's the same name as my wife, um, who incidentally has not seen any episodes yet. So we basically tend to do them in batches. So we'll do three episodes and then um, me and Nancy will like binge watch three episodes together. So when I get to episode th three, then I get to watch it back with Nancy. So I don't have any opinions from Nancy yet because she's not seen it. But where we are at is Avasarala is probably, I think, going to face a bit of a mutiny from um, the Home Secretary, Nancy, whatever her surname is. I think she's going to attempt to galvanise some kind of political resistance against Avasarala based on people who feel like the blockade is wrong and um, won't betide her because I think I would not want to have to go up against the Vassarala. I really wouldn't. Um, she's smarter than most people, but I think more than that, she's more ruthless than most people. And I think you, you, if you, if if people are looking at her like, well, you know, she's getting on a bit now. Maybe she's not got quite the teeth that she used to. I think they're gonna have a fucking shock. But 
that said, we don't know much about Nancy, but, you know, Erin Wright had been around a lot longer than she had and been mentored by Vassarella and she saw him off. So we'll see. We'll see what becomes of Nancy and her plot, if that even happens. But I feel that's where that's going to go. Meanwhile, Bobby is getting treated like absolute shit by Mars. And no defence of Mars in this is going to wash with me at all. At all. Not only a Bobby loyalist, but I'm also a political realist. And, you know, if, if, if Earth is giving fucking speeches to Admiral Scyther, you know, who, remember, coordinated our mutiny against um, Admiral Wynn, because Admiral Wynn was acting against the interests of Earth, Mar you know, in humanity. Ditto, but Bobby took out a couple of Martians in order to just stop them fucking with the plan. It is ridiculous, the, the way that they are treating her. That said, I actually saw both sides of what happened with her and Avasarala at that dining table. I, in this case, I actually think Avasarala was right. I think I think it was right to do what she did. I think it was right to frame um, Martian and Earth through unity in the way that she did. I have no trouble at all with her, um, you know, making up beautiful quotes from Admiral Souther so that that man can be remembered as a legend in exactly the way that he should. Admiral Souther could have said that. Um, he wouldn't because it was far too poetic for him. That's just not what the guy he was but that's kind of cute and you think how many times has that probably happened in history you know that um we've you know created martyrs and kind of built them up into something you know that it's an approximation of the person at best um and i kind and i actually think it would be possible potentially for her to have an impact on the way that Bobby is treated if she can bring people around to that way of thinking so I don't actually necessarily feel like she used Bobby in the way that Bobby felt used I think that was that could be a real quid pro quo but that said if I was Bobby experiencing Bobby's life at that particular moment in time oh man I think I would be feeling pretty much a plague on both your houses. Everyone just piss off and leave me alone. What this show is so good at is it sh can put two characters in an argument and you're there nodding with both because it's not that they're wrong. They're just coming from different places at that point in time. And obviously that ended with a Vassarella, fuck these people, come work for me. I actually think... While currently Bobby sees that as charity, I actually think Avasarala really needs Bobby right now. Because if she's going to be facing potentially a mutiny at home, she's going to need Bobby. Like, a, she needs a proper security person who can literally physically defend her. And she, she also needs a friend. Someone that she can bounce ideas off of, that, that she can trust. But also who really understands what's going on. And, you know, I don't think Avasarala has that person. Because Arjun... Is wonderful but he doesn't really understand what's going on he's not been through the protein molecule experience in the way that Vassarella and Bobby have so actually I think I think it would be Bobby this is this is a favor favor situation again it's a win-win for both of them Bobby gets you know to to work with someone who actually genuinely appreciates her because Vassarella does appreciate Bobby and Vassarella gets a, a confidant um, someone who can protect her, a friend, I, I don't see a downside, and we get some kick-ass dialogue and all the magic that would happen with that, so oh, for fuck's sake, please, please let that happen at some point, um, but I can't imagine it happening quickly, that could be like a destination we get to, but we will see, it depends, but it really does depend on where this, the arc of this season is going. So that's that. Um, we've also got this um, assassination of a customs agent of Mars. He's had his neck snapped. So what did he find? What is someone playing at? Was he part of um, some sort of subterfuge and then just been killed off so that there wouldn't, you know, he couldn't leak it? 
what is going on something is going on i'll tell you that much my spidey senses are right up this episode a lot of shit is going on um and finally there we had um david uh, bobby's nephew and that sarky little twat uh that he hangs about with you know the blonde, little blonde one um turns out they seem to be make, making some sort of drug that's being distributed to martians um would make sense that would there would that would be a reason to kill a customs agent maybe finding the you know their supply coming in or stuff like that so there's a connection to bobby in this process which i think is about to put her in a lot of danger well it already did the only reason that she could deal with that danger is because she's bobby fucking draper so she just kicked everybody's asses and i actually think she needed to kick some people's asses today so i think they inadvertently did her a solid actually um i just loved that girl being like david your auntie's becoming a problem and then bobby just being like problem over boof that was superb i just i love a bobby draper fight scene they're all fucked so now we've got a problem because obviously there are going to be people above these assholes that are now going to be coming after bobby um big time for this and they're not going to let this go so we're going to have that to watch and to deal with meanwhile on illus <laughs> so light stuff first amos has found himself a lady friend they've had a lovely time alex not so successful <laughs> the doctor that he finds himself attracted to happens already to be married and have a child so he was cop blocked um quite successfully and a little bit glum we've got naomi who needs to rest because her heart is not built for these conditions and it's not strong enough yet for her to be charging around like a maniac but you know naomi she just wants to keep going i personally think it's really reckless um i don't i don't like it i don't want naomi to be in peril and i especially don't appreciate the secrecy from jim uh, the secrecy towards jim given remember the fucking proto molecule in the missile to fred johnson situation i really don't think naomi should be keeping anything ever from jim again because i think you can forgive one of those but two i think jim would struggle to actually trust her again because basically he can't trust her to give him news bad news going to be rocked by something else which they don't know about yet but we'll deal with that when we get to the belt situation uh, the um camina situation at medina miller uh protein the investor whatever we're going to call him but i'm going to go with um i really like protein miller because i don't he's not just the investigator to me he's still a bit of miller in him so i'm calling him proto miller he um gets a sniff of what's going on down on illus he sees the fins as he's investigating he's reaching out he's reaching out he finds something and then he's like well, okay let's investigate what's going on down now and that's when he activates jim gets inside his head and says look there's this little route <laughs> i'm gonna need you to cut and i just i really love the simplicity of that things have been said there for a billion years and the time it's been active obviously stuff happens you know nature takes over and now there's just this tiny little branch which is getting in the way of like this extraordinary proto molecule fantastic so and, and it can't do anything about it because i ain't got hands <laughs> so, so it uses the investigator just just as it did last season it, you the investigator you know finds a tool that will open a door and that's what happens then what happens is very shady because I mean when you think about it 
what why on earth jim are you activating dormant protein molecule without understanding ramifications what are you doing it's probably the silliest thing jim has done in fairness that was flat out silly we didn't have a problem now we have a problem lightning is whizzing around now so who knows where that's gonna go we'll we'll find out but i mean i'm enjoying that ride immensely we also found out that it looks potentially we've not had it confirmed in fairness but the indication is that what happened to the edward israel's little thing as it came down was sabotage rather than um just the defensive forces of the protein molecule or an accident which I'm feeling could tie in to what happened with the sojourn and other shit that's happening. I think some of these are not going to be related. They're going to be like red herrings, but some of them will be. I think the sojourn thing and this may well be connected, but we'll, we will find out. I, I'm struggling because I am so mistrustful of Murtry. I wouldn't put him past him to have actually been responsible for what happened on that ship because it would give him the opportunity then to implement kind of a martial law and get things going in the direction he wants things to be going in. And if we've got another Melba Clarissa situation and he turns out to be fucking, what's his face, Marco in Aros? Well, I don't even know what to say. But that's, that's where my mind went. But what you should know is I tilt at windmills. So this will all be very wrong. We also saw Murtry kill, kill one of the Illus settlers in an extra, what was basically extrajudicial murder. There was no due process. He was not in, under immediate threat. It was fucking outrageous. And I don't think people are going to stand for it. I think they'll be cowed in the moment because they've just shut themselves and realised this guy is a madman. But there is going to be trouble at mill. Let's just put it that way. That is going to be a problem. And I actually maybe hate him. I proper, I really hated him in that moment for doing that. It was totally unnecessary. And I don't think that's going to open any positive avenues particularly. Um, it also puts the other inners who are on Illus really in a, in a very dangerous situation because now you have one of theirs killed. The impetus is going to be to avenge that killing um, before any kind of peace talks de-escalation can take place. And if you doubt me, look at what just happened with Iran um, and Donald Trump. That's how these things work. So what we do know is that Marco Inaros was behind the attack on the Sojourn. Um, he's creating quite a lot of mischief right now around the ring. Basically, you've got kind of what did they call them? I've lost the I've lost the name. I'll just put it in the thing. But basically, they're just ships ships full of people. You know, there's lots of people on the ship. There's loads of supplies. They're not battleships, so they're not particularly well equipped, well equipped to either defend themselves or, or, you know, attack. And so they're being targeted by these Belter warships who are coming along and then clearing them out. That's going to be a problem. How does that con How does that end up connecting with our other stories? Is going to be really interesting to find out. I, I really am looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to to meeting this guy. If he's not Murtry, you know, who is he? Is Naomi going to find out that he's back? He's going to be facing off against Kamina, potentially. And I do, I really do worry about his connection to Ashford and Dawes and how that's going to impact the way that the OPA and the Vultures develop from here on out. So I think that's quite a massive question and an area of uncertainty so we'll see where that goes yeah i really enjoyed the episode i like that it's starting to lay down new narratives we've got a whole new plot arc 
you know multiple arcs that are developing and i know that i know this show well enough now to know that ultimately they are going to come together in the most awesome and terrifying way and we will just have to wait to find out what that is thank you for watching until the next time bye bye thank you for being a friend